Hey, it's Jack. So let's just cut to the chase for the moral of the story on this video right away. If you don't feel well, go to the doctor. Uh, so that's the lesson from this video. If you don't, if you want to shut it off now, don't shut it off now. But if you want to, that's it. That's the lesson of this video because uh, in my case, I had a uh, raging case of diabetes. I was not well. And uh, I'm so glad I finally did go to the doctor, but I put it off for weeks, months, probably years, and that didn't serve me uh, very well. It's now been three weeks since I've gotten the official diagnosis, and, you know, twice a day I had to take my uh, blood sugar level, which is kind of a pain in the ass, and I, I think I'm going to be moving to the, the patch thing that does it automatically for you. And twice a day, I got to take the insulin. And uh, I've got to tell you, after three weeks, actually, after even four or five days, I felt so much better, so much better. So, you know, millions, tens of millions, I don't know, a lot of people have diabetes. And it's, you know, it's not, it's, it's very common if you go watch any television commercials, you know, like every other one of them is a diabetes girl. It's crazy. So it's not an uncommon thing. Um, but I let it get so bad that it impacted my life in a way which was just dumb. Just really, really, this is one of the stupidest things I've ever done. But, you know, kind of being a man and, uh, you know, um, uh, if you're a man, you don't get sick. And, of course, the only people who go to a doctor are the people that are sick, right? The people in the hospital. The only people in the hospital are sick people. Everyone knows that. And the only people who go to the doctor are sick people. Everyone knows that too. And so why would I need to go to the doctor? And so denial, well, <clears throat> when? It, it runs deep. I'm Irish Catholic, as you probably know. And, uh, you know, like, like they say in that Departed movie, uh, I can put up with things being wrong for a really long time. And yeah, to my tremendous detriment, it was, it was, it got really bad. It really happened. Uh, well, it's been a long-term thing for sure, but really became acute when I came back from, uh, the big trip to Arizona last year. So that was probably August. So for the last six or seven months, it's been really nearly debilitating. Let me explain. Uh, to, I basically had to go to the, I don't want to be like, you know, uh, crude or anything, but I had to go to restroom to pee, uh, 12, fi I don't know, 15, I don't, a lot times a day. And, uh, yeah. And it, it tremendously interrupting to, to your day when you have to pee every hour and a half or two hours. And that also carried over into the night. So I'd have to get up to pee three or four times a night easily so I was never getting more than say like an hour and a half or two hours of sleep at a clip and let me tell you over months that does a number on you it's 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 debilitating in a way to the point where uh, for the especially for the last six or seven months and even before that but especially the last six or seven months uh I'd come here to work and to my studio here and really only get done what the minimum was that that was it that was all i could kind of manage and by the time noon 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 o'clock rolled around my mind uh, basically shut down and when you work for yourself you, and there's there's no one else here i just work for myself i have 35 agents and three real estate schools and i have my own real estate deals myself but when you work for yourself, there, there's no one like, you know, looking over to make sure that you're actually, and by noon, uh, that was, my day was done. I like basically, certainly by one, I needed a nap. And even if I didn't take a nap, my mind just couldn't think straight because I was so sleep deprived. I'm just telling, I think it's a cumulative thing, sleep, sleep deprivation. It was a major uh, side effect to the fact that I had a pee like constantly. And so when I finally got this, I finally made it, I finally broke down so that I got to get this taken care of. I knew, I kind of knew, I knew, right? Uh, I knew I had it. I just didn't want to deal with it, which is the big mistake. And uh, hopefully you won't make that mistake. Hopefully if you're watching this video, you're like, okay, Jack, I'll, I'll get what I need to get taken care of. 
So finally I went and it wasn't a big surprise and uh, it's kind of surprised I had to do the insulin thing. Looks like you have to stick yourself with a needle twice a day. It's a little scary, but you get used to it. Actually, believe it or not, this whole uh, blood sugar thing is more of a pain in the than anything else. Uh, so fortunately, um, as I said, we're probably going to do the, the arm patch thing, which I think is a lot better. But now I get the sleep back and uh, also like I feel just feel like so much better. I feel like myself again. It's been so long since I felt this good that like it's 3.30 in the afternoon today. I'm making this video. I still have energy. I'm like, I'm still getting things done. It's It's been so long. I don't even remember feeling like this. So that's fantastic. Um, I was kind of reluctant to make this video. Um, I did make a video a couple of weeks ago. I put it up on a, on a different channel. And I, I, that gave me a little bit of confidence. You know, nobody watched it over on that channel. Probably nobody watched it here either. But... Um, that's the update. So if you don't feel well, um, go to the doctor uh, is is the moral of the story. I'm fine. You know, I'm fine. I will be fine. Uh, tens of millions of people have it. It's, it's manageable. I've totally changed my diet, which is probably the number one thing you got to do, right? And uh, maybe I'll share more of those things on this channel in the future. But in the meantime, this has been uh, Deep Thoughts number two with uh, Jack Ately. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.